In this video, we'll demonstrate fast and accurate data entry and some of the different ways to do it. In this course, you'll learn how to do all these different ways and how to pick which one to do. There are lots of different ways to enter data, whether it's directly into spreadsheets or imports or other tools. So let's jump in. Here's one example of directly into a spreadsheet. And when you're doing this, the point of doing it is that anyone can type things into a spreadsheet and make a mess. If you do it right, you can protect different ranges so that only certain people can type in certain areas. You can have drop down menus that people can choose from to make sure they're typing correctly and you can use the data later. You can protect the range so that if someone types something you don't want, you can reject it. You can let people type in if you wanna let them do that, but just have an alert there that tells them something is wrong. And then if you do it again, there's the number works fine. And again, you can reject if you want this to be a date, you can say it violates the rules. So one method is just typing into a spreadsheet. This is good for speed because you can do a lot of them at the same time. You can copy and paste, so it's powerful. It might not always be the most intuitive though. So there are other ways to do that too. Here's another easy one, which is just importing a CSV. Often when you're putting data into spreadsheets, you're getting the data from somewhere else. So one way to do that is just export a CSV or an Excel sheet from another system and then paste it into the spreadsheet. It can be really long. You can add over time where these are the first orders and then every week or month you add more orders. But you know the data is gonna be clean and structured when data comes from another source where it's exported from software. And then you have forms. This is an, ex an export or an, um, where a form exports to. You can see it's a form icon here and it's an external form. So here's the form that you fill out. When you fill out this form, you can just type into it. You can have drop downs. You can choose dates. So it's also powerful and it'll put the output here. So it'll tell you when it came out and all the different columns. So it's a nice clean way, really it looks better, easy to use, good for one at a time, good for usability. People come here, it's hard to make a mistake because you see what you're doing. And you can even have internal forms where here's the sheet. You can click this button to open the form and it's the same form inside the sheet. So here you can type into the sheet, click submit, and it'll pop right there in the last row. So those are four ways to do it, all ways that we'll go through during this course, and all ways that have different positives and negatives. There's some of these that are really powerful for certain purposes and not for others. Obviously dumping data is really good for when you have a lot of data coming from one place and you wanna put it into a sheet and analyze it. And as we talked about, you can then put data into a place and have all these automatic formulas update based on that. So these are really powerful, simple tools that we'll learn about in this course that have a really, can have a really big impact on how you do things, save you time, make things more efficient, avoid mistakes, and so on.